helping take the strain off law enforcement, the new medical center helping people receive the attention they need instead of ending up in a jail cell. The goal is to alleviate ER crowding and to keep people out of the criminal justice system. Sheriff Joe Lombardo says 30 to 40 percent of people at CCDC should be at a care facility instead of in jail. Located on Charleston, your rancho, it's going to provide a wide range of resources to help substance abuse patients and also police. Crossroads is officially a direct drop-off location where police and EMS can bring those in need. Metro Lieutenant Joe Sobrio says his homeless outreach team has already brought in around 10 people and one less person per day in CCDC saves $150. That money can be taken now to address other crime fighting needs. We are Crossroads of Southern Nevada and really we're a group of professionals that came together to create solutions for overcrowding in the emergency rooms uh, for substance users and mentally ill. We wanted to create a place where they could go and get the appropriate levels of care that they need, get them stabilized and self-sufficient and back to being contributing members of our community. We started Crossroads of Southern Nevada to help the individuals who are homeless on the street, suffering from addiction and mental health to give them an opportunity to be successful in the community. So our goal here would be to get them the mental health and substance use services that they need and then also case manage them into a better life. That means actually holding their hand and connecting them with the different services that they need. It could be vocational, it could be mental health, it could be a lot of different things. Uh, we want to be there to hold their hand through that process. And it's just an easy process of bringing somebody in to the facility we have maybe three lines of paperwork for you to complete, and then off you go. At that point, we take care of the patient and we provide all the services. For the individuals that are out there bouncing back and forth between the street, emergency rooms, jail, you know, they are just caught up in this cycle. And our continuum is really built to try to extract them from that cycle so that they don't have to keep going to the emergency room, that they don't have to keep going to jail, that you know, we can actually set them up for success rather than uh, you know, two days in the ER and, and a discharge right back to the street where they're in the same situation they were before. That's, that's our whole goal. You know, the housing piece here at Crossroads of Southern Nevada, I think, is what really sets us apart from anyone else delivering these services. Had a boat and a car and a truck and a house, all those things. Talora Ward is a mother of seven. She lived a normal life in Utah, but everything changed when she got addicted to meth. Ward came to Las Vegas to get her fix for cheap. All of a sudden, Three days of waiting turned into three weeks of waiting turned into, I can't believe I've been here for a month and a half. I still don't have a ticket home. What's going on here? From February to December of last year, this was her home in the tunnels of Las Vegas. But now she's getting help from Crossroads of Southern Nevada. Oscar, you coming? Crossroads is a new treatment facility providing services such as medical detox and mental health stabilization. Ward has gone through both. She was ready to make a change. Crossroads co-founder Jeffrey Iverson says Ward is one of the approximately 100 patients they've seen since services began just over a month ago. For him, it's personal. I'm a person in long-term recovery. I've been clean and sober since March 28th of 2006. I have been in the same situation that a lot of these people are in when they're coming through our door. Hannah, Mary Jane, and Walter. Essential to Ward are her children. She hopes to reunite with them soon, something now possible thanks to Crossroads. Now that I'm here, I can go back to the, being a mom with the house, with the boat, with the car. Crossroads of Southern Nevada offers their services 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days. We do not close. Anytime an individual comes into crisis, Crossroads is here to help and support the community with these individuals. We provide a range of services between medication management to observation to ensure that individuals are safe when they go through their detox. So what we've attempted to create here is an environment that's very comforting. People will want to stay long enough to actually allow our services to impact them. Our mission here at Crossroads of Southern Nevada really is to become a great collaborative partner in our community, addressing uh, gaps in mental health and substance use services. Crossroads of Southern Nevada is excited to be in the community providing services for these individuals. We look forward to working with you as a partner to help individuals become successful in our community.